Today I'm going to talk about making a badge landing. This is basically where the badge gets affixed to the vehicle. So you can see I have my surfaces. This is going across the center uh, line of the vehicle. You'll notice that I don't have anything on this side because I can symmetry these surfaces over. But what I do want to do is I want to make sure that I build these surfaces that are going across the midplane. I want to build them across the midplane, make sure they're properly balanced. So to begin, I'm going to start out with a couple of uh, offsets. I'm going to offset this surface out, the distance it needs to go. And then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to offset this surface out, the distance it needs to go. Reverse that. There we go. And cancel. Now that I have them there, I'm just going to do some intersections. I'm going to intersect this with this, intersect this with this, and I'm going to get this multi-result management. Basically in Katia, if I have a result that has multiple entities, like this intersection intersects this surface here and here, it's going to give me this. And what I want to do is I'm going to keep all the sub-elements, cancel, and I'm going to do an extract on my own because I want to extract this and I want to extract this, select OK. Now that I have that done, I'm just going to simply take this intersection that I initially created with both elements and hide show. Now, actually, let me do this. Let me take these elements, put them in here, and let me change some of these colors around. Let me go into properties, make it easier for you to see. And this is typically what I end up doing. I like to make very uh, uh, bright, vibrant colors for at least the curves in, in up the thickness so it makes it easier to see. So there we have our curves. Now, next thing I need to do is I'm going to go ahead and hide this. And I'm going to hide this offset. Here you have... The curves that we need to uh, at least basically start our frame for our surfaces with. Now, next thing I need is, are the curves coming in this direction. So for that, I'm going to go ahead and do another offset. I'm going to offset this surface. Actually, let me define and work object here. I'm going to offset this surface. Reverse the direction. I'm going to do my intersection here and here, and hide. Now that I have that in place, I need to create these curves down here. So you'll see I have um, the ability to take that offset that I just made and do another intersection. So I'll just pick this offset with this, select OK. Keep Again, all of the sub-elements, I'm going to do my extract and just do them all at once. Select OK, and then hide that intersection once again. Now that I have that done, what I need next is I need to take these curves here, and I need them to be a little bit longer. Okay, so if I take a look at this, you'll see that this curve falls short. The result, what I basically need, is I need this curve to intersect this curve so I have the transition that I need. Now, there's a couple of ways that you can go about doing it. Now, for me, personally, there, there was an offset that I used to make these curves. If I look at this here, that offset is what makes those curves. If I were to do something like extrapolate that offset, with a curvature continuity, you'll notice that eventually it intersects the curve that I need. So with that, I'm just going to simply create that. I'm going to replace the offset with that extrapolation, and I'm going to select OK. Now that I've done that, you can see the curve actually intersects where it needs to intersect. Now, the next part of this is to generate the surfaces that I need. So I'm just going to go ahead and generate my blend. I'm going to go into BlendServe. I want to blend from here, 
here. I want curvature, none, curvature, none, turn off my angular correction deviation, make sure my tensions are at default, and select OK. Let me actually move this to the correct geometrical set. There we go. And make this my work object. So I'm going to go ahead and blend. Do the same from here to here. And then this. Now that I have all of my surfaces in place, what you're going to notice is when I go in there and symmetry this over, I'm going to take that, I'm going to symmetry across my midplane. I end up with a gap at this end for my surfaces. You'll notice that this doesn't run out the way it should. And this is an easy fix. I'll just simply go into that extrapolation that I originally put in there. And for that, I'm just going to say point continuity for my uh, propagation mode. And what it's going to do is it's going to run around the entire surface now, that extrapolation. Now that it's run around the entire surface, you'll notice that that updates nice and clean. I have the intersection that I need at that end. I'm going to do another symmetry. Bring that surface over just so you can sort of see what's going on. Okay, you can see that now that blends up to the right spot. I'm just going to undo that. I just use that as a reference to make sure everything is good and what I need. I can uh, hide this. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start trimming away everything that I don't need. So for this, I'm just going to go into split. And I'm going to split this surface to here to here. And I'm going to split this surface to this curve and to this curve. Come on. Pick that surface. There we go. And then now I'm just going to go into and split this to here and to here. So to split this surface, I'm going to use this, my cutting element, and I'm going to use, I made this blend, this blend here to cut to. I'm going to go back to that base element. I'm going to split this, split to that element. Oh, I forgot to add this in as well. So that's split. Now I'm going to do the same thing, just modify this, add that in there, and hit OK. Now that I have that done, I'm just going to simply hide this symmetry. I just use that as a reference to help me do my splitting. And I'm going to take these two elements and do another symmetry. Just tools. I'm going to go into hide, say all curves, and hide that. Now, verify that this is the shape that you want. If it is, good. If it isn't, go back and make some changes. And if you need to make some changes, you have your offsets here, which allow you to make whatever changes you deem fit. You also have this offset here. Maybe you want to bring that down a little bit. It's having a little problem with the splits in this in this corner right over here. So I would have to go in there and modify my split a little bit. That's not a big deal. Maybe you want to go in the opposite direction. In this case, it works just fine. So those are your options. And then you also have this offset here if you wanted to make a, a modification to that blend, you can make that modification to that blend as well. So you have those offsets, very powerful way to 
manage your uh, basically your 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 parametrics for this landing so you can modify what those um, blends look like the size of those and they all stay relative to one another because of the way that it's built 